Okay, here we are at our first hot tower or meteorological tower site for the Allegan County Wind Project that we're working on. And this is in Ganges Township, Allegan County. And what's happening right now is the crew that has been putting together the Met Tower for the past day, um, it's High Tech Towers, the name of the company, and they are in the process of raising the Met Tower. It's a 60 meter Met Tower, it has six anemometers on it. Anemometers are the wind velocity sensors. And there's two wind vanes that measure wind direction and a barometric pressure sensor as well as a temperature sensor. Those are located at the base. You zoom in here and show you the instrumentation that's at the top elevation. The two booms going off from either direction uh, have anemometers at the end of each. You can see the cup-shaped devices that are rotating. I said those are rotating and you can measure the wind speed because the wind speed is directly proportional to the rotation of, the, of that cup-shaped device. And the bottom boom here, right below the two booms, has a wind vane on the end of it, and that measures the wind direction. Those elevations are actually about 58 and 56, 57 meters above the ground. And we have another anemometer at uh, 50 and wind vane at 48. anemometers at 40 and then another one at 10. And the reason we have the anemometers at all these varying elevations is because if you go up higher the wind speed increases. And if we end up putting up wind turbines here, the wind turbines are going to be about 80 to 100 meters to their hub, which is the center of their blades. And because this that tower is only 60 meters high, you've got to figure out a way to project what that, what those velocities are going to be at the higher elevations. The way you do that is you take a look at the wind speeds at the varying elevations and you can mathematically project what the wind speeds at the higher elevations are, are going to be. So they just started uh, lifting this tower about half hour, 45 minutes ago, and you can see this other smaller structure on the end of this thing at the base and that's called a gin pole. That gin pole has cabling that go to various points, go to various points on the Met Tower. And the other end of the gin pole has cable that goes over to a winch. And that's the way the uh, that's the way this Met Tower is raised in place by pulling on the winch through this gin pole. And there's uh, four people working on this project. You got one person operating the winch Another person at the base who is directing the two at the outer ends to make sure that the tensions on the guy wires as the Met Tower is raised is correct. You don't want too much slack or too much tension that can, can cause major problems when you're lifting this tower in place. This tower has about, I think there's 13 anchor points. Each anchor point is attached to a 8 inch diameter screw and anchor is about 5 five foot long and gets screwed into the ground. And before this raising process takes place, these anchors are uh, pull tested to about 5,000 pounds to make sure that they're going to hold the Met Tower in place. So after this Met Tower is installed, today is uh, Wednesday the 22nd of September. After this Met Tower is put up and everything's locked down, there's one other site in Overizel Township where we're going to uh, place another Met Tower, and that's going to happen over the next couple days. So we'll have two Met Towers up for the next year, collecting this wind data that we're going to use to analyze and see if the conditions in this area are good enough to put up utility-sized wind turbines. We'll also have a sonar unit, which is a sound detection and ranging device that uh, can also measure wind. It's a little bit more mobile than a Met Tower. It's just another method to collect wind data and get that uh, and s deployed out here in the next month or so, and that'll be out here for four months. So, and I'll do it. Uh, 
should be done with this site here in the next hour or so.